Hey again everyone. It's been a busy few weeks for those trying to keep up with development surrounding Stable Diffusion. A couple optimization breakthroughs opened up faster and higher resolution image generation for a lot of users, and a huge amount of work has gone into the inpainting and outpainting features taking the web UI from a neat hobbyist toy to a very functional application. One feature that hasn't got a lot of attention is support for styles and objects learned through textual inversion. This is a method of training the stable diffusion model on a few images and then linking the user specified keyword in the tokenizer. Essentially fan made mods for the infinite gacha machine. I'm not going to go over training your own embeddings in this video, but I will link to the hugging face Google collab training notebook if you want to look into it on your own. The main place to find textual inversion embeddings is the Hugging Face Stable Diffusion Concepts Library. So what do you do if you got to catch them all? When I first checked out the page, there were about 120 objects and styles, but I couldn't find a way to download all of them. When I next looked, there were over 300. Now there's over 500. So clearly one at a time downloads was going to be a chore. I spent some time trying to write a scraper in Python, but I couldn't figure out how to properly click the button using the beautiful soup library. So here's a crude workaround. For this, you're going to need a Python environment with Git installed and the Notepad++ text editor for Windows or running it on Linux using some sort of wrapper like Wine or some other text editor supporting regular expressions with find and replace, but I just don't know of one with such a large feature set. First, we need to generate a list of addresses to each concept's hugging face repo. To do that, we'll use a couple handy regular expression tricks. Go to the Hugging Face page, click the Expand button, carefully select all of the text, and copy it into the Notepad++ text editor. Next, head up to the Search menu and select Find and Replace, and use this regular expression. This will select any line not beginning with the term SD Concepts Library. Next, use Find and Replace to replace the SD Concepts library with the complete address to the SD Concepts repo. Then, use the line operations function to remove all the empty lines and save this as a batch file. Run the file and it will ask you for your Hugging Face access token. Supply it once and it should be saved for the future. Some repos are private and require access, and the pull will freeze. So when that happens, hit Ctrl plus C, and then N, and the batch file will resume. The processing script here will search all the subfolders in your specified download directory, read the token identifier, remove a couple problematic characters, and rename and copy the learnedembeddings.bin file to an output directory. It also makes a file with a list of all the embedding names used in the next bit. This prompt script opens up a template file named template.txt and replaces each occurrence of tag in capital letters and in square brackets with one of the embeddings stored in the allembeddings.txt file. If you write out a few variations of your prompt, this will generate a file using every embed name stored in the first step. You can take this file and use the prompts from file script in the Stable Diffusion web UI to generate batches. I'm sure there's a better way to accomplish this task, but this should work for now and allow you to download all the concepts from the SD Concepts library. There's no error handling and the script will run into errors if anyone uses problematic characters in their token name, and some tokens may not match the file name so you will need to double check that they are correct if you find the embeddings aren't working properly. Pretty much here it is, now you're on your own, but it's a start. I'll be following this up with a compilation of upscaled images generated with the same seed and with different objects and styles applied to different parts of the prompt so you can see how the textual inversion embeddings can be used to generate some really interesting output. 